Okay, this is the uh, orientation for the new high school laptop 101 program. Can everybody see the screen? You might want to slide because those boxes are bad. Okay, so what are you guys going to get issued? You're all going to get issued a Dell Latitude E6500 laptop. These are really nice high-end laptops. The treasurer uses it. The superintendent uses it. It's what I have. It's not like you're getting something worse than what anybody else has. It's better than what Mr. Sanderson has. You're also going to get a Dell charger and you're going to get a laptop bag along with that, okay? There we go. All laptops have been cleaned as much as possible over the year, but they do sometimes, some of them show more or less wear than others. Like this one, you can see it has a couple little scratches on the outside. When we got these, they all looked really, really badly. We spent a whole lot of time making them not look like this, which was about average of what they looked like when we got them. They had stickers all over them. So um, realize they don't look exactly brand new, but they're in pretty good shape. Uh, all of them have on them one sticker that please do not take off. And that's this one right here. It's an inventory sticker. It has your name on it. It has a barcode on it. And that way, if you guys have problems and you bring it in, we're going to scan that barcode because we want to keep track if this laptop's having more problems than another laptop and whether we need to take it out of the inventory or not. So we need that scanner sticker left on there. All the keys should work. We've tried them all out. However, if you guys have problems, bring it in here. Obviously, you guys don't have intervention, so you guys might have to come early or late to bring it in. Um, but we want to get those so they're all working for you. The laptops have Windows 7 Enterprise, Office 2010. A bunch of programs that teachers ask for in particular, like you may not have the class that uses Audacity because Ms. Jordan asked for Audacity to be on all of them. So there'll be some programs that you may or may not use. These are the specs of the systems. They all have two giga RAMs, they're dual core, nice processors. They all have been swapped out with solid state drives, which is what makes these run pretty well. Um, a solid state drive, the advantage of that, it's 10 times faster than a regular drive and it's not susceptible to movement damage. So the reason laptops generally get damaged is because people forget to turn them off. If you guys just close them to take it, put it in your bag and take it to the next class, it's not gonna hurt the laptop at all, okay? They're magnesium alloy outer shells. That makes them heavy. It also makes them very durable. And they all have an extended nine cell battery. That's what, why the battery sticks out more than the laptop does inside um, them as well. There's a bunch of different kind of chargers. If your charger doesn't look like the guy next to you, it doesn't mean they're different physically, or I mean the way they put out power, they just look a little different. We have three different charger makes. The one thing I wanted to point out with chargers is not all chargers put out the same wattage, the same amount of power. So all these that you guys are gonna get are 90 watt or more, which is what the laptop needs. If you've got a Dell laptop at home, that has a slightly smaller charger, it will charge the battery just fine. But if you have it plugged in while the laptop's running, it will run four times slower. That's actually an exact number. These are 2.4 gigahertz processors, and they'll run at 600 megahertz. Okay? Um, and if you want to read why, it's because it's an Intel speed step technology, and it automatically slows it down to make the battery or to make it charge more, whatever. Anyway, so just so you know, if you plug in one that didn't come with it, it may run slower. If it does, it means it's low wattage. All the batteries that we've got uh, were tested to be... to be uh, in decent shape. We don't know how long all of them are gonna last. So if you guys find out that your battery only lasts a half an hour. All you have to do is bring it in here and say, Mr. Poole, I charged this up all night last night. Didn't last halfway through first block. You need a new battery. Not everybody got new ones because if they tested good, we didn't put in new ones. But if they run well, they should easily make it through your guys' day. There's no way you guys should need one in the first two blocks of the day. Okay. So if it's not holding a charge, you can bring it to here or the ISD room for a swap. We have big 16-bay chargers that all you do is walk in and I'll swap out the battery. Now the caveat to that is if you need a battery first or second block, it means you didn't charge it and you're going to get detention after midterms. You have until midterms to figure out if you have a bad battery. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? If yours only holds a chip charge for half the period, you take it into ISD, you get a new battery until midterms. There's no fault, but you need to make sure 
you're honest and say, Mr. Patrick, this one doesn't work, and you make sure Mr. Cole knows. Okay? And the other reason it in here is after second block is because I have classes first and second block, and I want people walking in with batteries for first and second block. But he, he'll have one of those chargers down, downstairs as well. Okay? But they should always make it through first and second block. If yours isn't, you need a different battery. There's also docking stations in 209, 213, and I think Mr. Sanderson has docking stations in the back. They're intended to use whenever you need a docking station, whenever you need a mouse. This is what the docking station looks like. Some of them are a little wider, but they're basically the same. The big thing on the docking stations is you don't just rip your laptop off of it. It has little spots right here that little latches come out and lock into it. So you set it up and line it up, and it just kind of drops in there and push it down. When you want to take it off, there's a button. You push all the way down on the button. If you don't get it all the way down, it's not going to unlock. And then it just comes right off. Okay? And when you set it on the docking station, you're going to get it charging. If he's got mice, you're going to get a mouse set up. Some rooms like 213, it's also wired, so you're not on Wi-Fi, so it runs a little faster that way too. Okay? If you find that a teacher's got room in their classroom and they don't have docking stations, you guys think you need them, you might want to suggest it to the teacher. Is there any way we can get a couple docking stations over here? Okay, because I still have plenty left. Laptop bags, you're supposed to use it at all times. If you don't have your laptop out in class, it should be in the bag. Okay, the bag can be put in your backpack. It has grommets on here that you can get shoulder straps. Wear a nice little man satchel laptop bag if you want to, or it's got a carrying handle. These are made for this laptop. It fits perfectly in there. It has a cushion bumper at the top and the bottom, or you can just obviously carry it with your books. But if you don't, if you're not using it in class, it's supposed to be in the bag. If I see you in the hallway carrying a laptop without it being in the bag, I'm going to make sure you get detention because I don't want to have what happened last year with the tablets and get broken all the time. They're too expensive. Okay, so put them in the bag. Uh, I already said everything else that's on my slide. Okay, students are expected to bring to school fully charged every single day. You have a class that they say you're going to use video. If you're one of my students, we watch video all the time. You re uh, supply your own headphones. Okay, go to Walmart, get a 90 cent -in pair, or get a nice pair of Bose. We don't care, just have your own headphones. Students will not bring to the school laptop chargers. Do not bring laptop chargers. We have tons of laptop chargers. If I see you with a laptop charger, my assumption is you just stole one of mine, and I'm going to take it from you. And if you want a laptop charger for your laptop at home, now you're going to have to buy it back from me. Your niche, don't bring it to school, okay? Don't bring it to school, it's for at home. Uh, only out in the classroom, not a lot out in the cafeteria. Obviously, if you carry it to the cafeteria, that's fine. Just don't have it out at the bag in the cafeteria. You're only supposed to use it for academic purposes during the school day. In other words, YouTube videos, first block, you kill your battery, and you can't use a third or fourth block is not what we want. We only want to use it for academics. After school, we don't care. Do you realize that the filtering only works here at school, but you're still bound by the student use agreement? In other words, don't go places you're not supposed to go when you're at McDonald's or home. Okay? All the PCs have been removed from the high school other than 210, so you need to have your laptop when we pull it out. If you forget your laptop, well, I'll get to that later. When it, as soon as I give you your laptop, I want you to get it out and log on to it. If the battery's dead, just tell me. We'll get you a new battery right away. If you need to get a new battery anytime, all you have to do is push it on these two latches right here. The battery just comes right out. If you need to swap a battery, don't bring the laptop. I don't need your laptop. I just need your battery. Okay, just walk up with the battery, uh, and we can swap it out really quickly. And like I said, there are going to be 32 charged all the time uh, for people that need to get um, a battery. You should continue to use your H drive to save your stuff, because if you bring that computer in and you say, Windows isn't working, there's a problem, I've got a virus, I'm just pulling your hard drive and putting your drive in. If you got stuff on the H drive, or I mean on that on that hard drive, it's just gone. I'm not spending hours trying to recover stuff. So keep your stuff on the H drive. If you're anywhere else, you can get to your H drive by going to mobile.nationalthrill.us. If you go to there, it's going to ask for your username and password, and boom, there's your H drive. You can upload to it, download from it, you can get to it from anywhere, anywhere there's internet. The laptop's got an issue, 
But make sure you bring it in, and I might have to replace the full drive if Windows becomes corrupted for some reason. Okay. If you forget your uh, laptop, there is um, going to be a cart of 30 of them down in the ISD. So if you forgot your laptop, just go down there. He's going to give you a laptop with your detention slip. There is no warning after getting your laptop. Don't forget your laptop. Okay. You'll get a lot this exact same laptop with a different kind of bag. Make sure you return it there at the end of the day. Um, oh, if you're, well, I'll give that second. If your student doesn't have a charge, I already said this, you can swap it out in the ISD. No repercussions till after September 19th. And that's really to make sure you guys have good batteries. It's not because we don't want you to have a charge. Okay? After second block, you can come up here as well to swap out batteries. It's a $30 a year fee that covers general maintenance, repla re replacement batteries, any light wear and tear. If you guys have a key cup fall off, we're going to replace the keyboard for you. If you have the key fall off and I replace the keyboard and then you have a key fall off and I just put in a brand new one, you're paying for the second key. Because that doesn't, that, I have had laptops for 16 years, never had a key fall off. Ever. Keys don't fall off just from gravity. Keys fall off from I'm not saying you picked at it on the first one. We'll assume that the previous person had a had a problem and, and was nervously picking on the keyboard. But on the second one, I'm going to assume it's you. Okay? If you ever have any other kind of problem, you need to bring it up here. If there's damage to it, I'm going to give you one of these hardened ones as a loaner until I get yours fixed. If I have to fix something that's a parts problem, that's obvious user damage, then you have to pay for the part. Okay? If you lose your laptop, it's going to be about $300 depends on what I can get a replacement for. Okay? If you break the screen, I'm saying it's approximately 50, that's about what a laptop screen costs to, re to uh, replace. And then I'll have to see. It's just, you're just gonna, we're not making money off anybody. It's just to pay for the replacement part, part for your laptop. If you did bring your own, if you bought an iPad last year, you can still use your iPad. If you did bring your own, you can still do that. It has to have a keyboard has to be able to do get to the internet and have office, it has to have a decent battery, it has to be 10 inches. Okay? Minimum of 10 inches to do bring your own this year. If you're doing something in a classroom that requires a laptop and your Android tablet doesn't cut it, you can go down to the ISD, you need to he'll have a list of these bring your own so he knows that you didn't just forget it and he'll issue you one for the period so you can work on whatever project that is a score on They've been announcing this. If you want to buy one of the old tablets, you can. They're down in the office for 25 bucks. They will not have internet access at school. Okay, they'll work just normally at, at home. But all Android devices are going to be blocked here at school, so it won't work. And that's because we had so many issues with people texting with them last year, and people trying to cheat on math tests with them when we provide them to use as calculators. So they will not get on the internet here. Okay, and they might today or tomorrow, but I'm going through and blocking so. They have no warranty, however, I'll swap them out for the for one week. So if you get one and it and all of a sudden tomorrow it's not working right, we'll still swap it out for you. But after the week, so after you've got it for one week, uh, it's by at your own risk. Okay, that's why they're only twenty-five dollars. Keyboards are not under warranty and they're not provided. You're gonna get a keyboard with it, but think of it as a case. If you really, really like to use the keyboard, make sure when they give you one it looks decent. Okay. And those are all through the office. This presentation and the recording, everything will be on Moodle. If your parents want to know what's going on, they want to listen to this or watch this, they can get it there. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? Okay, so what I want first is I, we're going to do seniors first, and then we're going to do anybody that's not a senior second because the seniors are all in one place.